This one is western red cedar and then we have a strip of pine. We have the pool, we have the hot tubs, we have a beach that's just right around the corner. We took 20 boats on our annual prestige rendezvous to South Haven, Michigan this year. We're taking young people and the purpose of our program is to develop a maritime interest. <laughs> Hey guys, Eric Kyle, your publisher of Great Lakes Scuttlebutt Magazine, and I'm excited to be out at the Minneapolis Boat Show right here in downtown Minneapolis, Minnesota. And I love this show, by far one of the best shows I get to go to every year. And while I'm here, I'm kind of wandering around, I'm looking for some new and exciting products to report on, and I ran across our friends over at Maverick. I'm here with Landon. Landon, how are you, my man? Good, yourself? Good, good, good. That's and good. Lucia, always a pleasure. So you have a product, adjustable dock leg. You guys, this is really exciting because I've not seen anything like this before. Landon, tell me a little bit about this product. A little background about it was I got sick of having to adjust my parents' dock. So I went ahead and made an adjustable dock leg that can go and retrofit straight to their dock. So they don't ah. actually have to buy a whole dock section that it's tied into. Okay. This can go onto any dock leg except two and three eighths diameter pipe. Okay. So in this particular case, it can go up to two and a half with this bracket. Okay. Um, but two and three eighths is our overall diameter of the outside of the pipe. Gotcha, gotcha. So basically any dock I have out there, I can just put that over the pipe yep. and then I can adjust the height of the dock according to whatever the height of the dock is I need. Correct. Yep. You'll take your existing pipe out and you'll put our pipe in. Right, right. It. Just nice and flush to the top. Okay. You have 15 inches of travel right off the bat with yep. just the screw itself. Okay. And then you have another nine and a half inches of travel with the foot leg on the bottom that's pinned. Okay, time out. We're on the Great Lakes. There's no tides. Why in the world would I need an adjustable dock? Well, in our case, up in the Brainerd Lakes area this year, we had some uh, freak storms that came through, about well, five or six inches at a time. Nice. So three separate times I had to adjust my parents' dock this summer. An hour and a half or 24 feet of dock. That kind of bites out of my summer. Yeah. So, well, I know here in the Great Lakes as well, in some of the bigger water, when the wind is blowing one direction, our water, I mean, we go up yeah. and down pretty significantly. A lot of marinas like to have now floating docks yeah. because of the different up and down of the water level. This is absolutely ingenious. I've never seen this before. Yeah. How long has this kind of technology been out there? Well, you know, it's been in the marketplace with some of the manufacturers, but we've been seeing some of their problems, and uh -huh. we want to make sure that we fix it. So yeah. we offer ability so that it doesn't rust and it won't seize up. Right. We also uh, allow it so that it can retrofit to other docks. So. Absolutely fantastic. Lu Lucia, let's see it in action. Show us how this works. Right over here. Nice. So with any drill, any you drill. can just go up or down. And you've got a full 15 inches, uh, uh, yeah. over a foot of height you can raise and lower on that thing. And then yeah. another nine inches down on the bottom, yeah. according to whatever and you need. bottom nine inches could also be made bigger. So yeah. if you do have a deeper lake yeah. that the dock goes lower down in, uh -huh. that nine inches could be made even longer. Absolutely brilliant. Whatever your needs are. Yeah, I really love it. Okay, so how do I go about buying a product like this? Do I have to go by a distributor or a wholesaler or online or how do I? Let me ask you, Landy. Yeah. Where do I find out more information about the product, and if I want to buy it, where do I go? We're going to start releasing stuff and information in February on Amazon. Okay. And then we're going to have a distribution network throughout, uh, mainly in the Midwest. Okay. And we're starting here in Minnesota. Uh, a lot of dock companies are interested. Mm -hmm. A lot of marinas are interested right off the bat. Nice. So you know, you'll see it on Amazon, maybe Cabela's. Okay. Who only knows? Is there like a website I can go to to visit for more information about the product? Yeah, it's Mav, M-A-V, uh -huh. manufacturing, all one word, uh -huh. dot com. Mavmanufacturing.com, yep. and I can find out more about this. So if I just have my own cottage, my own dock, and I want to be able to buy it, I can go there, find out more information, maybe contact you guys or one of your dealers to purchase the product. For sure. We're out of Lakeville, Minnesota, just on the south side of the metro. Outstanding. Anytime. We can talk. Fantastic. Landon Lucia, great Thank demonstration. I very you. much so appreciate it. Mav, M-A-V, Manufacturing.com. That's where you want to go. Check this out. Fantastic product, guys. You'll love it. It'll make your boating experience that much better for it. Thanks so much for joining us today. We'll see you out on the water.